The Kronos ZK EVM chain is now live. It comes with super fast transactions, very cheap gas, and also very lucrative farms. But what is ZK EVM and how do you get in on the fun? Well guys, I would say let's strap in and let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one and only Coin Baron. And today in this video, I want to do a deep dive on the Kronos ZK EVM ecosystem because guys, you can do a lot of cool stuff on chain. And if you haven't heard about Kronos ZK EVM, it's the latest and greatest blockchain by the Kronos Labs team that's funded by Crypto.com. And guys, over here you can see it's all based on the mother chain, of course, Ethereum. While it's all built on top of Ethereum, it does try to solve a lot of issues that come from Ethereum. For example, the slow transaction times or also the high gas fees. So guys, we do get all the good stuff from Ethereum. So the Ethereum virtual machine, the safety from Ethereum, but we also get the upsides of faster transactions and also lower gas. So overall, guys, a very needed upgrade. In order to get started on chain, you do need some funding on the Kronos ZK EVM mainnet. And therefore, guys, I do recommend to just use, for example, over here, the Crypto.com app or the exchange to easily get on chain. So what you can do, you can go to Crow or to ETH and then you select transfer and then you actually select withdraw. With that, you can select your Crypto.com DeFi wallet if that's connected to your DeFi wallet or you can select external wallet and actually add a new wallet that does connect with, for example, over here, as you see, scroll to the right, Kronos ZK EVM. That's guys, the easiest method to get funds on chain. If you already have funds on chain, you can also use bridges like this one over here, the Kronos ZK EVM bridge, but also you can use third party bridges like the bridge Rhino or XY Finance. But guys, I do want to zoom in over here on this bridge over here because it's not only a bridge where you can actually move over ETH to VE, for example, or Crow to ZK Crow, but also there are missions and there is a leaderboard. So let me explain a bit more about that as well. In the top right corner, you can see your point total. And these are your pioneer points that can be earned by doing missions. So these missions can be found down below over here. And these are, for example, essentials, but also a lot of dApps available on chain. So H2 Finance is a dApp, Fulcrum is a dApp, Ampli, and all these apps over here, those are the launch partners of the Pioneer program and of Kronos Labs. So guys, basically they were wanted to reward you, the user, to actually be a pioneer and be one of the first to use the Kronos ZK EVM chain. In order to fulfill these missions, you do need a basic understanding of DeFi. And while DeFi is not rocket science, it is definitely the more advanced side of crypto. So guys, if you want to learn more and you want to get like a basic tutorial or for example, the DeFi wallet, let me know in the comments down below. And guys, while you're there, don't forget to hit the like button and of course, subscribe for more. But let's get right into the missions. After bridging over your funds, you can get started with, for example, the dApps over here to the right, like H2 Finance, Ampli Finance, Wolf Swap, Mars Swap. Doesn't really matter, guys, but for today's video, we will use H2 Finance as a nice tutorial. On the mission page, you can actually click on a specific tile to do your first mission. For example, this one brings us over to the swap page of H2 Finance. It is very important to understand that for any on-chain activity, you do need to pay a gas fee. And normally guys, that gas fee is paid with the native gas token. And on ZK EVM, that's not Crow, but ZK Crow. And that one you can actually recognize by the very colorful icon with the C in sight. So normally guys, Crow looks like this, but this is a ZK Crow. So I do recommend that as a first trade guys, if you want to do anything on chain, is that you make sure you get yourself some ZK Crow. And normally guys, if you do withdraw Crow from the app, as I showed in my earlier example, you will get Crow and not ZK Crow. And currently H2 is one of the only places where you can actually select Crow to pay your gases for. So again, guys, I do recommend that your first trade should normally be Crow to ZK Crow to pay your gases. Personally, guys, I have more than enough ZK Crow to pay gas fees. So I would like to get myself something else instead. So let's click on it. And I want to get myself some VEF, Vino ETH, which is the liquid state variant of ETH. Anyways, so I guys would select 100% over here or 75, but that will give me currently about 
0.12 ETH. And guys, down below you can click on the swap button, but also you can see some more details. Anyways, let's swap and let's confirm this, guys. You can quickly read, but let's confirm this right now. And then you will see it will pop up a little confirmation screen over here, the gas fee, and let's confirm. And that's it. Super quick, guys. Blazing fast. I didn't lie in that tweet, guys. Really great stuff over here on chain. Once you have done your first swap, we can also check out some other things on chain. For example, right now, provide liquidity and farm. And guys, this becomes a bit more complicated to so definitely check out, for example, the impermanent loss strategies over here. Right now, we're selecting over here standard V2 to add liquidity because those are supported by the farms and more about that in a minute. But guys, I want to do 100% of the VE we just bought to provide liquidity and basically be your own bank. All we're going to do right now is determine how much we want to deposit. And guys, I want to do all my VE and automatically it will be paired with the dollar equivalent of ZK Crow. Down below, you can find some more details, but let's just press supply over here and you can find some other details as well. For example, you will receive this amount of liquidity pool tokens. You will see over here how much Crow you deposited and how much VE and also the rates that are being used and also how big the piece of the pie is that you are providing right now. So I will get 0.07% of the liquidity pool. So now we've got to confirm. And again, guys, you will see this little transaction pop up on the right. And let's confirm that one as well. Beautiful. That's it. Right now we're providing liquidity, guys. And if anyone is doing any trades, you will get 0.07% your piece of the pool of the trading fees. So that's pretty cool. You're right now really being a bank. Having said that though, guys, if you want to earn more than just being a bank, you can also go right now to this over here, pool, and discover farm and stake to earn. On the farms tab, you can find all available farms. And guys, over there, what you can see is that you earn additional H2 tokens if you provide your liquidity pool tokens. So what you can do is add liquidity or stake more, depending, of course, if you're already farming. But guys, no financial advice, but these are reward tokens, but don't count yourself rich right now. You see APRs of 200%, which is actually really good. But you do see that those APRs are going down quite fast as well. Anyways, no financial advice, but I am going to stake more because I do like what they're doing over here on the platform. So I'm going to press a max and that will stake all my LP tokens. So let's confirm. And then guys, we are basically in the money. So right now, guys, we are harvesting. You can also find that by going to your dashboard over here where you can find all your farms and more information about your APR and your earned rewards as well. But talking about those rewards, guys, what do you do with the H2 token? And of course, what you can decide is to trade them. You can trade them basically to US dollar. But right now, guys, I don't have much, so I don't recommend selling that little bit of H2. What you can do also, of course, is going to the liquidity pool and you can add some more liquidity for the H2 pair. Or what you can do is go to H2 Life. Over there is the H2 Earn page. And you can earn some more H2 by staking it until they actually unlock over here in this vault. And you can see over here, I stake some H2. I can also claim my rewards. So let's claim rewards over here. And you can see you can confirm it again and you will get your H2 in your balance in, I think, just a few more seconds, guys. So normally very blazing fast. And there we go. My balance is updated already. And I can right now stake some more. So let's do that right now, guys. Let's take 100% of my H2 tokens over here. And it does definitely show, guys, this is the APR at the current rates. So again, guys, no financial advice. And I do think this APR is going to drop down significantly. So do watch out with this. Anyways, I will do some more earning over here. And guys, the fun thing is right now, this is just one platform. I think it's a, it's a decent platform, actually. But you can do things like this on so many pages. You can go to Ibisius, you can go to WolfSwap, and over there on all these DEXs, they do crazy farming right now. So good ways to earn some additional yield. With that guys, we completed all the quests over here for H2 Finance. And within a few hours, it will actually also update over here with the Pioneer Points. 
that can be used later on, guys. How can I use my points? You can use those later, give or take in September or October to get more participating cryptocurrencies. So guys, another way to earn some additional yields. With that yield, you can also try out the DGEN side of crypto, or for example, trading some meme coins over here. And this one was made by Jojo. So let's actually get myself a bit of this coin over here, the Crow Bros. So guys, let's make sure we buy some and let's support his cause over here. So let's buy. And over here, guys, the exact same thing, of course. You can confirm and you can see 2,000 Crow over here. And that bought, I think, quite a nice little bit of supply of this coin over here. So there we go. A nice little candle. And of course, guys, again, blazing fast on ZK EVM. I can't stay that enough. Anyways, with that in mind, I would like to provide some closing thoughts on ZK EVM. I've just shown you a DEX, so H2, and also a meme coin launch pad over there with push.fun. But we are definitely needing some more dApps over here on ZK EVM. So we did have, of course, the launch partners, but I would say the list is relatively small. We do definitely need some more killer dApps on chain to bring in the volume. But of course, guys, a bit of a chicken egg problem, but I think we're going the right direction with, I think, the Pioneer program and the upcoming incentives with the missions. So overall, guys, I'm bullish, mainly because I do know that finally Kronos has some cutting edge tech with the ZK platform and ZK EVM. And also, guys, I do think that the yield bearing assets with ZK Crow, uh, Vino ETH, and also VUSD, that will bring in some attention, some eyes to the platform. So overall, I am bullish, but we do have to wait and see. If you guys are here, though, do make sure you make advantage of those nice farms, of the great liquidity pools, but do your own research. Anyways, guys, I think that's kind of it. If you have some questions, leave them in the comments down below. And guys, if you do want to learn some more about the tech behind ZK EVM, do not forget to also watch this video over here because over there you do get some more background information with the white paper as well. So do check it out.